right now. Y'all are seeing me all day today because it just so happened everything I did today is something I wanted y'all to see. This is a recipe that I already make a version of mayonnaise chicken tenders. Coat it in mayonnaise, dip it in in breadcrumbs, dry breadcrumbs, season it or whatever, however you want to season it, and bake it. Well, that same cookbook that brought to the mind my copper pennies, just within a few pages of that was this, well not this chicken, but chicken that did this. You take a box of just plain old chicken stuffing, run it through the food processor. This is about as fine as I got. I whirled it pretty good too. And use that as your breadcrumb. So since I had chicken, even though they're thighs, and stuffing as my supper tonight, it was just a, a hop, skip, and a jump to, okay, combine your mayonnaise chicken with their crumb topping and do it. So that's what we're doing. The The difference in their mayonnaise, they added melted butter to it. I don't do it normally, so I'm not going to do it now, obviously, to save points. So the first thing, I cut most of these um, chicken thighs in half just to make them more even in size. I'm going to hit them with some house seasoning. Now the way I'm going to point these is I'm going to point the come over here a little bit. I'm going to point the mayonnaise and the breadcrumbs separate from the chicken. I ain't figured out how to easily combine it all in the recipe builder as raw chicken and then weigh a piece of chicken at a cooked weight and it be the same thing. The cooked chicken is one point per ounce. All the way, how many ever? One point per ounce. The breading will be determined after I finish how much I put on it. I'll take that, divide it by nine pieces. I'm not going to say, you know, how many exact grams of bread are on it. I'm just going to say how much bread I've used total. I've already weighed my things and divide that by nine. And the mayonnaise, I'm going to start with, let's see, let's start with one teaspoon because I want to kind of get a feel. I think I know one teaspoon is enough for one side. We may have to put one on the other. One teaspoon I'm using, let me show you. You know it's not my favorite. It, this is David's favorite. The Hellman's Light. But in something like this, I can't really taste it. So I don't mind it. Because it will be, it will have the breadcrumb, the stuffing flavor. I'll get it out in a minute. And I just put this, I don't know what y'all can see on this camera and what y'all can't. I just put my mayonnaise in here because it was easier than digging down in that jar. And I'm not touching my spoons to the chicken so it doesn't now, let me, because you know I'm going to put my glove on, so. Because <sighs> I am not touching this. Especially trying to rub mayonnaise all over it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know. That might be. Honestly, if I do, you see how it kind of stuck to the paper when I rolled it over? I think I'm going to stick with the one teaspoon. I don't know if y'all can see that good enough. So between, because I don't think it needs to be um, piled on. I think that would probably be enough to let the breadcrumbs stick. So let me go ahead and work all the mayonnaise in and then we'll come back and bread it okay I got all the mayonnaise rubbed in 
So that's one teaspoon of mayonnaise per piece of chicken. So that's going to add zero points. So we don't have to worry about the mayonnaise. Now, the breadcrumbs, the stuffing, I already weighed. It was a six ounce box, but I weighed it. It was 6.15. Now, since I get confused, I'm just stirring this up since it's got some big and some little. Since I get confused, I weighed this dish and this dish empty. Just in case I should have and then I didn't. And if I don't need it, because if you saw my, <laughs> my meal prep already, you saw I was a little confused. So I'm just going to start with that much. I hope this sticks good. So we'll do one and then I don't think that'll be good. I think it'd be a nice um, change of pace from the typical breadcrumb. Yes, do it with your hands. You can get it in there a lot better than me, but it is what it is. Because I ain't touching it. So, okay, now I'm going to do that for every one of these and stick it in the oven and I'm gonna come back and while that's cooking we're gonna measure and see how much of the stuffing we actually used okay I went ahead and weighed everything so I could just come back and explain to you how I came up with how much stuff and I actually used to get a correct point count now you know the mayonnaise one teaspoon zero points if you eat two pieces of chicken Technically, you have to count that as one point because two teaspoons is one point. So, you do what you need to do on that. First of all, empty. This little container was 19 ounces. We know we had 6.15 ounces of crumbs. When I weighed it with what was left, the total was 19.45. If you take away the empty, that leaves us with 0.45 left in the bowl. Okay? Now we have to do this separately because I'm going to throw that away and I'll put this in the freezer to use another day. This little bowl, empty, weighed 14 ounces. Full, like you see it here, 17.2. If you subtract out the bowl, that leaves us with 3.20 ounces worth of stuffing still inside. So add these two together right here and we still have 3.65 ounces of stuffing. If you subtract that from what we started with, 6.15, that would mean we used two and a half ounces. I put a recipe, I built a recipe, and the only ingredient is the stuffing because I'm counting my chicken separately and I'm not counting the mayonnaise unless I eat more than one piece. So that's the only ingredient I need to calculate a point for. I made it as nine servings because I have nine pieces of chicken. I'm not going to count the hairs on the frog <laughs> to decide, you know, how many crumbs is on each one. Divide it by nine. So two and a half ounces of stuffing divided by nine comes up to two points per piece of chicken. So I'll have two points in the stuffing, zero in the mayonnaise, and then how much ever the cooked piece of chicken weighs. So I will let this finish cooking. I did put a foil on it because the recipe they did, they cooked it with foil. And I think the reason is because it's a bigger, you, you can see that's a lot bigger and harder and crunchier than regular breadcrumbs. So probably it needs the steam to help soften them. If you baked it without that, they probably would get even harder. That's what I'm thinking, and I didn't want to take a chance in case that was true. So I'm just going to let it go in 15 minutes with the foil on it. Then I'm going to check it, and if it looks like it's softening up, I'm going to take the foil off and let it go another 10, 15, till the chicken's done. So we'll come back at that time. Okay, so I did 15 covered, 15 uncovered, and I think it's perfect. Now, I happen to be starving because I've been busy and believe it or not food has not been on my mind 
So I'm probably going to eat two. Not probably. I know I'm going to eat. <laughs> I know I'm going to eat two. Oh, okay. Now that's stuck to the bottom. Did you see that? Let me get a... Hold on. Okay, I sprayed this, but you saw that it still stuck. So let's scrape it like that. That is 4.8 ounces of chicken. So that is what I'm having for supper. That will be rounded up, I'm sure, to five when I put in, which I will just put in five. So that will be five points for the chicken, four points for the bread, and one point for the mayonnaise. So five, nine, ten, ten points worth of chicken and it's a chicken thigh it's not a chicken breast so i i'm fine with it because here's here's my plate and i got a my smaller plates to put less on them and here i am putting two, two pieces of chicken <laughs> listen i don't care i still have a bunch of points left for the day which i already said i'm not eating them for the sake of eating them i'm just saying i'm nowhere close to having my points eaten so I'm not worried about it so it's 10 for my chicken that's three points worth of air fried okra and some vegetables I had already roasted or put on the grill my little new grill and had in the refrigerator so let's just cut this and see I know it's going to be too hot to taste maybe I can get it let me blow this um, to cool it off, and I'll be right back. Okay, not bad. Need salt. Be sure and salt your chicken. It still needs salt. There, surprisingly, not much flavor in that stuffing. You can get the chickeny part of it, but salty, no, it's not salty like you think it would be. Still is crunchy, but not hard. Just kind of the right amount of crunchy. It's um, Goldilocks chicken. It's just right. <laughs> it's just right. So my verdict is, be sure and salt your chicken. You, I'm going to have to salt it afterwards. 15 covered, 15 uncovered. And the one thing that would take it over the top is if I had some gravy. So the next time I make this, I would definitely have a jar of chicken gravy that I use for my KFC bowls. Which I have, but I'm having KFC bowls, so I'm not going to use it. Even though we won't use the whole thing, I don't want to take a chance. Alright, there you have it. Stuffing coated chicken.